So once upon a time, buddy of mine, good friend actually needs uh, new tires on his truck. So he does what anybody would do. He goes to, uh, I can't remember which chain it was, but one of the big national chains. He's like, yeah, give me a set of them. And they're like, oh, no problem. We'll put this on real quick, don't worry. And they are taking forever to install these tires. He's there for, I don't know, like a good hour, hour and a half or so. He gets pretty irritated and he decides to do something about it. Now, what does he decide to do? Is it, oh, you know, what the average normie would do and, and talk to the manager and try to get him put on for free or like leave a bad Facebook review or whatever. No, no, he doesn't, not at all. He loads up his wheels and his tires in his truck, starts driving, gets out his phone, gets on Craigslist, finds a guy with a tire changing machine, not one of these, like the full on, uh, like oven size, balances it, the, the works tire changer, drives there, buys it, throws that in his truck, drives home, unloads all this stuff, installs the tire changer in his garage, teaches himself how to use it, and changes all his tires himself. You guys think I'm making this up? No, I have seen it in his garage. This is a true story. Now, I'm not quite cool enough to impulse buy a probably several thousand dollar thingamajigger, but I impulse bought this. The reason being is because, well, just like if you have any number of trailers, you're pretty much gonna be perpetually fixing trailer lights. If you own farm equipment or tractors or anything along those lines, you're gonna be perpetually screwing with crappy flat tires. The downside to this uh, machine is it doesn't really have a way to balance the tires. If, if you wanna do that, you'll have to, I don't know, get something else to work with. But the premise and the main appeal to this thing is that it's pretty cheap. It's actually insanely cheap. It cost me only about 50 bucks or so. Don't really remember, ordered it like a week ago. But it was about 50 bucks and uh, it's delivered to my door. We got all the pieces in here. I think Harbor Freight sells the same exact one. I think this is a classic case of uh, you know one company somewhere over there in China just stamps out thousands of these a day and, and they'll sell them to whoever's willing to pay for them. So I will say the design of this contraption looks extremely nice. Uh, the construction is a little rough around the edges, but shoot, for like 50 bucks delivered-ish, uh, I mean, if it works, it friggin' works. So let's see, we'll push down on this. This appears to be an extremely simple, uh, like mechanical force multiplier, just based off the lever here. Well, shoot. Oh, oh, pallet's coming apart. I forgot how wood is. This is take number however many we're up to now. Oh, it worked. It worked. I think we're in business. Now, one thing I will say in the tire changer's defense, there's these different bolt holes here and here to change the amount of uh, leverage you have on this versus the amount of travel. All right. So now we take this out of there and uh, we got to pry it under here. Oh, it's gonna end with somebody in the emergency room. Mm. Oh. Oh, we're bending this rim. Do not like that at all. Do not like that at all. Good thing it already has like 29 bent spots on it. Wow, despite my sheer level of incompetence, we're actually making progress. Victory. I guess maybe now we try to reach in here and see if we can fish out that tube or what's left of it. This is the true story of how I got a poisonous spider bite. Oh, this is gonna suck to put back in. Oh, there's actually still some air in this. You know, if I was intelligent, I probably would have drained it out first. Sweet, we got it. Quite frankly, a miracle I don't break more stuff than I do. Oh, I'm 
gonna fall off the stupid pallet and break something one day. Probably today. Oh, ho, ho. victory! It works ish. So I got a lot of the cancerous rust chunks removed with the help of my new needle scaler. Now, I will say I'm only responsible for one of the many bends in the side of this rim, but we're going to try and fix them all. Maybe not with this pipe wrench though. Moment of truth time, and I'm feeling pretty nervous. And uh, no idea what I'm doing. Okay, okay, this is, I can tell right now, this is really gonna suck. <laughs> now nah, there's gotta be a trick to this. Everybody who's watching this that knows anything about anything tire related, it's like, do it this way! It's gotta be painful to watch. Oh boy. How the heck are you supposed to get this on here? You guys seeing this? The secret seems to be to use this thing you put this part of the tire right in here and then this square part works to push it up over the rim. I hope we're either seconds away from victory or rage. Oh, oh, this is going well. Ish. Yes! All right. Now let's shove that tube in there and work it around until the uh, valve stem comes out the hole. All right, we're through. Let's put the rest of this on. I remember this from my motorcycle tire changing experience. As people actually qualified to do this say, you just have to get as big of a bite as you possibly can. And uh, if you get a small one one time, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you keep moving. Now the other thing is we've all heard horror stories of people getting themselves terribly injured with broken jaws and missing teeth and whatnot from this, which is why I'm standing back here because if this pops out, it'll go that way. So don't put your face there if you're gonna try this in real life. Oh, happy new year! <sighs> you know what they say, boys and girls. Why pay someone to do something when you can pay much more money for a tool you don't know how to use and will only need a few times to do a much worse job of it taking up most of your afternoon? Yes! All right, uh, let's throw some air in this thing. I think I was supposed to use some dish soap solution at some point here. Alright, there's about 23, uh, 25 PSI. Let's take this thing off of its thing here and bounce this on the ground and see what happens. Wow, how about that? Man, this thing was a workout to use, but honestly, I bet I could mount another one in half the time. Oh, yeah. Don't know why people do this, but 
Monkey C, monkey do. Now when we got this set up, I actually lifted it up quite a bit higher than I thought we would need to. But as you can see, this tire is just so much more substantial, probably because of the fact it's full of air and not destroyed. Oh, hey, 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 do it the easy way. That we have to A, lift it up higher and B, tilt the axle. I'm trying to get this to go over the center hub, which is kind of an odd design. There we go. Awesome, it is on here. All right, let's drop this thing. It's holding part of a tractor, yay. Before, after. I'll take that any day of the week. So, that brings us back to the tire changer and specifically what I think about it. Well, to be honest, you guys, it is not a thing of beauty. It's, uh, it's kind of rough around the edges. It, <laughs> the way I would describe this thing is uh, a little ugly, but extremely functional. And structurally, it's quite well built. Yes, it is made out of some thin material, but it seems to be very well engineered. I really don't see anything on it wearing out. I don't see anything on it breaking unless you go full Bubba. Maybe those uh, struts right there, but you know, you could just weld on some scrap metal reinforcements if you absolutely had to. But man, you know, this thing, as ugly as it is with its non deburred cuts and, uh, and not rounded off corners and whatnot, it is pretty stinking functional. I'd never done a uh, tube tire before and only done like two tires ever, one on a motorcycle, one on a machine just like this, or you know, machine. Um, <laughs> But even I was able to figure it out and it took me, I think about 45 minutes or so to dismount and in total about a half hour to mount. But like I said, I, you know, it's not like I'm a tire guy and now I have this thing and it friggin' works. It's a little ugly, I will grant you that, but I have no regrets and for approximately 50 bucks, man, every garage needs one of these, says I, for whatever it's worth. So. That was my adventure of the day. I'm just happy I didn't trip over any of these tools and kill myself, but I haven't turned off the lights and left, so maybe I shouldn't say that yet. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like I said, links in the description below. 